Hello, print fam! It's now seven o'clock, and I am back out in the office. Went inside, my kid had a nightmare, so I laid with him for a minute. Had to fight going to sleep. I am back out here. My customer finally approved the banner, so we're gonna get it printed this morning. So, banners, then Bob is coming over. He thinks about eight something to pick up some shirts to take them to the screen printer. And we're gonna go from there. So, happy Friday. All right, Prep Fam, it is now two o'clock. I am feeling quite miserable from not going to sleep today. I am headed to the post office. Bob dropped the stuff off, but they will not take a credit card for the postage. So I've got to go pay with cash, check, or debit. So I'm going to go pay with my debit card. A little unfortunate. I was hoping to rack up some more points, but oh well. Uh, we got that invoice sent off to the customer as well, so hopefully they will get it paid. So I am going to go do that and then head home, spend some time with the kids, and then I'll check in with you in a little bit. See you. All right, guys, I'm printing some static cling. This was a random request from a customer. And I have another customer that I print flavor uh, decals for whenever I'm doing other static clings just because they don't want to pay 25 bucks for me to run just a small amount. But that's why it's it sucks to buy a whole roll of media, but it's useful when you get random requests that they'll pay a rush fee to get some material, so. Keep that in mind when you are looking at buying, whether it's a piece of hardware, like recently I bought the padding press and I bought the hat heat press. You may not make your money back on the first job or even the second or third job, but it helps expand your arsenal, expand what you can do so that you can service them more and be that yes person. So just a little tip, I'm going to get this finished printing and let them know that they can come pick it up. Normally they like me to deliver everything, but I'm too tired and I don't want to. And they want it today, so I'm going to tell them they have to come get it. So, oh well. What's up, print fam? This is gonna be a continuation of yesterday's vlog because I got home from my day job and got the kids ready because the wife left for her girls weekend. And we had some dinner and then they wanted to watch a movie. So we turned the movie on and I promptly fell asleep on the couch. They even put their own beds together and slept in the living room and we had a mini sleepover so all is well the wife is back it's now 11 20 and um, I'm working on some heat transfers that are due for Monday since I didn't do anything last night and I haven't done anything today so I've got a couple of heat transfers jobs that I got to get done before I go to bed and I just wanted to check in with you um, I did forget to release the vlog today as well. Uh, so we're gonna have a special vlog tomorrow, which is Sunday, about the August income report. And then we'll get the rest of the vlogs kind of released and updated. So apologize for a bit of the delay. Today we are working on some reflective heat transfers. So you can see it back here. I even stopped by Walmart and picked up some more freezer paper since I forgot to order it with my Amazon stuff this week. So I got that coming because I'm almost out of my current roll of wherever it is. Uh, the printer people also came today and replaced the main fuser unit in the gray well. I, I swear, Darren just likes naming stuff so that I can like, you know, next time it's gonna show it I'm gonna put a little gray well over it and then one day, like, Six years from now, I'm going to be editing, and it's literally just going to be like, here's the gray well, and here's Bach, and here's something else. And it's just going to be a bunch of stickers, and there's you're not even going to see the video. So that's that's why Darren likes naming things. I'm convinced of it.
So got that done today. And I also got the Impose software. So once I get it all figured out, I'll show you exactly how it works. But basically it allows me to like design a single business card or a postcard or flyer, etc. And I can go into the Impose and say, lay it out for me. So with a business card, 24 business cards will fit on a 12 by 18. So instead of having to manually lay that out and set it all up, I can just basically use this wizard to say, this is what I want it to be. And I can create templates so that I can automatically set up the Duplo so that, so that, so that I hear it now. Anyway, um, when I create these templates, I can load the file, print it, and it will be perfect every time. So that, oh man, it's late, I'm tired. That will allow me to save a bunch of time with doing jobs. So super excited for that. I'm gonna get these heat transfers done and I'll check to see if there's any questions and we'll go over whether I met my goal yesterday or today. So check in in a bit. Oh, also, Cam, you rocking those AirPods still? I hope so. I hope you like them. I like mine. I'm watching a movie while I'm weeding. I should use the giant TV in front of me, but I'm not. Well, I don't know if you heard, but uh, Post Malone's new album came out, so... Uh... Yeah, you already know. All right, print fam, it is a little after 11, or not 11, one, and I'm going in and going to bed. As far as did I meet my goal the last two days, I did not. I did bring in a little bit of money, but didn't reach my goal either day. I was able to get three heat transfer jobs completed. Those are all due Monday. So I'm going to drop those off before I head in to the day job. And then I've got a bunch of other work. Um, like I said, the impose is there. I've got some half page, or not half page, quarter page postcards that I need to probably do on Monday once I get the confirmation from the customer. So I'm going to show you then how the impose software works and get everything going that way. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the upcoming vlogs, lots of fun stuff happening. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe so you can follow along. And if you have any questions about what I do, how I do it, or just questions in general, leave them down in the comments. It's always fun to get to know and work with other people, either wanting to start a business, already having a business, or just have questions about the business because they find it interesting. So. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you can. Appreciate it. See ya.